Well, President Biden is celebrating his party's midterm election success while on the world stage, and he's meeting with China's president overseas. Back in Washington, meanwhile, Congress is back in session, and there are some fresh faces as newly elected members are arriving now to take on their new jobs on Capitol Hill. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest. The House will be in order. Congress is back in Washington today with newly elected members arriving for orientation, even as control of the House remains up in the air. I feel very comfortable that we will have the majority. Republicans appear on track to take the House by a very narrow margin, with Democrats falling short in the late count in battleground districts in California and Arizona. While doing much better than expected overall, Democrats will keep a majority in the Senate after weekend victories for incumbents Mark Kelly in Arizona and Catherine Cortez Masto in Nevada. When the national pundits said I couldn't win, I knew Nevada would prove them wrong. A win in Georgia's Senate runoff next month would cement Democrats' control, giving them more committee power and streamlining confirmations for Biden-nominated federal judges. I am going to reach out and say to the non-MAGA Republicans in the Senate, work with us. President Biden feeling empowered by the election results that he says send a strong signal to the world. The American people prove once again that democracy is who we are. Ahead of the G20 summit in Bali, Indonesia, the president meeting with global leaders, including China's President Xi Jinping, tackling thorny issues including Taiwan's independence and economic competition between two of the world's most powerful countries. I'm not looking for conflict. I'm looking to manage this competition responsibly. With an eye on the looming 2024 competition for the White House, President Biden asserting himself on the world stage and celebrating victories at home. Former President Trump is widely expected to announce tomorrow that he's running for president again, and that comes amid growing debate over his role within the Republican Party after several of the candidates he backed lost their midterm bids. Christy, back to you. Alice Barr, we appreciate it so much. Thank you.